In the first month, the fertilized egg implants into the uterine lining. Hormonal changes, particularly progesterone, prepare the uterus for growth. No major organ shifts occur yet, but internal systems begin to respond. By the second month, the uterus expands slightly and starts to apply gentle pressure to the bladder. Progesterone relaxes the gastrointestinal tract, often leading to early bloating or nausea. The uterus is now large enough to rise above the pelvic bone. This subtle shift initiates the upward displacement of abdominal organs like the intestines and stomach. At four months, the growing uterus presses the liver and stomach upward. The diaphragm begins to elevate, affecting breathing capacity. The spine responds by increasing lumbar curvature to compensate for abdominal weight. By month five, the uterus reaches midway to the navel, compressing the stomach and increasing chances of acid reflux. The heart pumps 30% more blood, and oxytocin receptors begin forming in the uterine lining in preparation for labor. At six months, the uterus reaches the navel and begins displacing the intestines and kidneys upward. Increased pelvic pressure may lead to varicose veins, particularly in the lower limbs. By the seventh month, the uterus extends above the navel. The diaphragm is increasingly compressed, reducing lung volume. Relaxin softens joints and ligaments, especially in the pelvis and lower spine. At eight months, the uterus pushes into the lower rib cage. The stomach is severely compressed and bladder capacity is significantly reduced. Blood volume peaks, stressing the circulatory system. In the final month, the baby drops lower into the pelvis, a process called lightening. This relieves some pressure on the diaphragm, allowing slightly easier breathing. Meanwhile, the cervix begins softening in preparation for labor.